to my kids. We are so excited that you joined us this morning for a time of worship and fun. I would like to invite all of my friends to bow your heads and close your eyes and join us in a word of prayer. Dear God, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you for this wonderful day that you've blessed us with, Lord God. We pray that you uh, uh, be with everyone in their homes and wherever they're watching from, Lord. Uh, keep them safe. Keep them healthy. Help us just to have a, a good attitude and an open heart to worship you in your precious and holy and wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Now is our favorite part. I would like to invite all my friends to stand up and sing along to our worship songs. Parents, feel free to join in too.
Wasn't that so much fun, boys and girls? Amy, did you enjoy that? Yes. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about Palm Sunday and Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Our memory verse for today is found in the book of John, chapter 12, verse 13. And it is, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Amy, I have a few questions for you. Think you can answer them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you ever made a promise to yes. someone? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Has anyone ever made a promise to you? Yes. Did that person keep their promise? Yes. Do you think that God always will keep his promises? Yes. I do too. I always think that God will keep his promises that he, he gives to his people. In our story, you're going to learn about Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. You ready to watch? Mm -hmm. Okay, sit back and enjoy, guys. Stories of the Bible, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You're coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and we'll return it soon. Yeah, okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset, and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into tears. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Wow, wasn't that an amazing story that we watched, Davey? Did you enjoy it? Yes. So did I. Very good. I have a few more questions for you to answer. Do you think you can do it? Yes. 
Awesome. Okay, so who did Jesus send ahead of him into the city? The two disciples. The two disciples. And what did he send them for? A donkey. A donkey. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> what did the people in the city do when they heard that Jesus were coming? What did they cut and gather? Palm branches. Very good. Palm branches. And what did they do with the palm branches? They waved them. They waved them. Uh huh. And what did they do to the streets? They lined the streets with their what? With their coats Co and palm branches. Very good. With their coats and palm branches. And what were they shouting as he was triumphantly riding into the city? Hosanna. Hosanna. Very good. I love it. And where was he riding to in the city? The temple. Awesome. You paid attention, didn't you? Did. <laughs> yeah. Last week, Miss Monica and Avi asked you guys to su submit some uh, pictures of the crafts that you guys created of the olive branches, right? Mm -hmm. And boy, did we get some really amazing crafts, didn't we? Yep. So enjoy the crafts that we're going to show on the screen from all of our friends at Cinnamon. <laughs> to be uh, just as exciting as last week's. This week we are making, what are we making? Palm branches. Palm branches. This particular palm branch you can find in the description. You can uh, download uh, the PDF file and print it out and complete it yourself. Avi colored this one and cut it out. Good job, Avi. Thank you. And this is another one that Avi did. What did you do in that one, Avi? I put glue on paper, paper on glue. She put glue on paper, paper on glue. Amazing. She took strips of construction paper and she glued them onto another piece of paper in the shape of a palm. Fantastic work. I'm sure that's what she meant to say, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay, and the final palm that Amy did, she used a piece of green construction paper that we folded in half and she cut around and then she cut the slits into them. Very good. You can do any type of palm that you want to come up with that you can create on your own, or you can do any of these that we suggested. Please, once you complete them, uh, take a picture, have mom and dad take a picture and send it to lifekids at lifechurchcalvert.com and we'll get them posted on next week's uh, episode. Doesn't that sound good? Uh-huh. Wonderful. Okay, uh, why don't you go ahead and join us in a word of prayer so we can finish out our, our day. You ready? Yep. Okay. Dear God, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we could uh, worship you, Lord, and learn more about you. Uh, we thank you for all of our friends out there that are, are joining us uh, and just enjoying the service, Lord, and praising your holy name, Lord. Uh, be with us this week. Keep us all uh, healthy and safe, Lord, and we just thank you in your precious and holy and wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Now stay tuned for the next two songs. Have a good week. Bye.
tell me to wave my hands up in the air Shout loud like no one else is there You can tell me to start up high and twist it down Here we go now jump up and spin around Yeah.